Good day, good day! How the fuck are ya? This is your friend Dan O, and this is Roverland, the YouTube channel that's anything and everything Land Rover. Have I got a video for you today? All right, all right, all right. Hey, here we go, man. We've got another video for you today. Thank you for joining me. Uh, this is a kind of a, another uh, uh, drone one and from uh, Chasing Diecast Cars. We're getting that pile down there uh, from what he sent me. Yes, he sent me quite a pile. And so we're still kind of working on that. Today we're going to be talking about Majorette. Now, Majorette, from what I understand, is a little bit more easier to come by overseas, obviously, than here in the States. So uh, what we're gonna do is take a look at uh, kind of what I have and then what he sent me on top of that and kind of compare what's going on. All right, so uh, I had two of these and uh, I got one in the package and I got a package with no car. <laughs> do you think I can find it? No, I, I can't find it. I don't know where it's at. But um, this one is uh, May Maging Mayho, May, Mayho, Mayho exclusive. And uh, I believe I got this one off the internet. Maybe I bought this in person. Now I don't remember. Um, uh, no, I think I bought this in person at, at uh, the Toys R Us before they, they left, didn't I? I think so. I'm, I'm not sure. But this is a really sharp one above and beyond Land Rover with the red, white, and blue and uh, Land Rover on top. And uh, I wish I had one to show you in real life. All right. The next one is that I got, and these are kind of the, um, oh, that's a Mayho exclusive as well. Uh, but these are all the premium cars uh, collections that I'm showing you right now. And they just a simple card with a uh, bubble. And then they have a little... Um, um, uh, paper in there, uh, flyer or poster of all of them that came in this set or series. And, uh, you can see by this series here, what, which one it was. So another Mayho exclusive, and this is the green one. Now this one, uh, we did a video on it before. Uh, the tire is, uh, spare tire is running loose in there. <laughs> uh, plain uh, green, well not plain, look at the uh, metallic green on there, that is super nice, but opening hood, now this one doesn't show uh, opening hood, it is, but this is a racing cars, so it doesn't have as much packaging and stuff, I don't really know the price points per se, and it's so obscured here in the States, you know, this I think is a little bit different price point than um, like this one would be. They put a little bit extra packaging inside, you know, to hold the car and to hold the hood open and stuff like that. Same same tires and stuff like that. Uh, you know, this is chrome and a very special uh, metallic paint job, but uh, really kind of cool. The other one that I had picked up was this gray one and that's still kind of metallic got blacked out wheels and once again still a premium car so and pretty pretty darn tootin' cool there but then once again mayho exclusive and you know i'm not really sure uh what what that really kind of means that mayho may mayho exclusive so i've got those buggers there oh uh, i should just take i got this one right sitting here right there and uh, boy, it got all dusty, but I got a ton of these. These are beautiful cars. I bought these uh, when Toys R Us was going out and a lot of people picked them up for me. Premium car as well, but this is the Range Rover Evoque with the opening uh, hatch in the back, two-door Evoque. So I got quite a few of those. That's pretty cool there. But uh, we're talking about these Defenders and uh, the Defender 110. Now I have like, um, uh, Guess how many I have? Yeah, I got like six of these. <laughs> and these were the latest ones that I got from Hobby Lobby. And so they're pretty, pretty spendy, you know. But this again is a deluxe car now. This is more fancier than the, the race car or the premium because it comes with the box. 
um, chrome wheels, although, you know, Land Rovers really don't do chrome, uh, especially when it comes to Defenders. But this one has uh, detailing on the back, decals on the side, different roof to it, and then detailings on the, uh, the nose. And actually, this is one, so that, that's a deluxe car. So this is one that we did uh, a while back. Uh, we did a the kind of a, a wheel swap with. So a chrome interior, I'm not really going to force that hood open. Um, but these other cars uh, did have some detailing on the back and on the front. More of a paint job kind of deal there for the premium cars. Um, but we put uh, real riders on this one. It was pretty pretty nice. It doesn't roll as as it doesn't roll. They're a little, just a little bit too big, but boy, that looks nice. It fills up the wheel well really nice and without a wagon wheel look to it. I, I just don't like the wagon wheels. Now this one does have opening uh, front doors um, and uh, different color tan interior, left hooker. Yep, so these here, um, the uh, premium car and the race cars just had opening hoods and uh, no opening door. So they have a whole another casting that they do and uh, you know, with the opening doors, cause that's gotta be a different mold and cast for them. But they do a two tone, they got a nice black hood and uh, roof on it. So really kind of cool. So that is kind of what I had. And so racing cars, premium and a deluxe and then Jerome, and we'll show him one more time. Jerome, <laughs> if you haven't gone over and subscribed, you should. Chasing Diecast Cars. Uh, Jerome sent me this one. So this is a different uh, series, SOS Cars. That's kind of cool. It mimics the, um, you know, the racing cars one, but this would be um, service vehicle, uh, uh, emergency vehicle. And so it's got a light bar on the top. I'm not really sure how they do that. Well, you can see they just punch holes through the top there and, uh, you know, uh, melt the, uh, the ends to it. And there you go. You've got it. You got it mounted. <laughs> the next thing is, um, uh, what is that? Garden Murray? Gren, Grenin, Grendar Murray. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't uh, speak of the, the, well, I think that's German, I think, but uh, I'm, I'm not really sure what that is. You know, in the comments down below, uh, tell me what that means. Uh, I'm sure it's some kind of a service or emergency vehicle. Uh, does have uh, the taillights painted on there. And of course the standard uh, front uh, is all taken care of with the uh, lens inserts and stuff like that. Defender on the bonnet. Bonnet opens, but no opening doors on the side. Uh, detailed on the handles, but it's got the, you know, decal on the hood and then on the side. So that's really cool, but it's an SOS card. So that's kind of neat. Um, <clears throat> being, excuse me, being a sole Land Rover collector, anything and everything Land Rover, I do collect on the card as well as loose. So the next one that I have, I got from him, is this awesome one here. So we got two of them, which is totally awesome. So it is uh, Deluxe Cars uh, from Majorette and uh, Land Rover Defender 110. It comes with the box. It is uh, uh, opening doors and opening hood, and it has a a tire on the bonnet or hood and you can see that chrome and chrome uh, engine they really got that propped open and then this is got a special defender trophy on it that is awesome that is a cool series and uh just totally totally awesome no chrome wheels but uh let's see now i think no, nope, those are the regular plastic wheels. I thought they had rubber wheels on this one, but it doesn't. It's just uh, the two-piece plastic. Uh, beautiful white with the black on the hood and the, the roof. And uh, then the Defender 110 on the side there. Nice detailing. Front, 
side and back. So just totally cool, awesome. Uh, I don't know if really could find uh, real quick here before we gotta go exactly what year this came out. But uh, yeah, Majorette from Italy. Uh, well, they used to be Italian, didn't they? And uh, I think, I don't know where they're, they're manufactured really right now, Thailand? Uh, you know, I don't know. You know, I don't know. Well, there's a Germany uh, thing here. But uh, yeah, so there you go. Thank you very much, Jerome, for these two beautiful additions to my Majorette collection. Awesome to have. I can't believe it. And I'm still working on a pair of care package for you, so don't don't hold your breath. It won't be this year, but next year. All right, that's it for me today. Thank you for joining me today on Roverland. This is your friend Dano, and remember, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great Rover day.